Yan, pasok ka ulit, ma'am. So, informative function of drama, it means of enlightening the people on the social and moral value of the society. It gives important information about the society from the past to present. It highlights the consequences of social vices such as drug abuse, cultism, examination malpractice, tribalism, corruption, fighting, stealing, rapping, kidnapping, indecent dressing, impersonation, armed robbery, bribery, favoritism, and child abuse, etc. So, informative function teaches us and inform us about the things that happened and the happening in our societies. So, it highlights, diba? pinapakita dito kung ano yung mga posibleng um, outcomes or resulta ng mga pagkakamaling nagawa natin doon sa part. So, next is entertaining function of drama. People derive pleasure and, and their feelings are aroused when they watch drama. It helps in creating fun and relaxation. So, entertain, entertainment is very important in drama for the audiences not to get bored while watching it. For them to enjoy and have fun while watching because entertainment helps the audiences feel at ease and relax and also for, forget problems for the time being. Next is therapeutic function of drama. So it is a drama, it's a source of relaxation for people. When people watch drama, they tend to forget their past ugly experiences for the moment. This will re- relax their nerves. It helps to build and develop confidence in people. It encourages self-realization and it heals broken emotions. So, for example, you are stressed and depressed because of your family problems, work, or love life. When you watch drama, you suddenly forget your problems for the time being. And what? Because watching drama will give you an idea and realization about life that will help you solve your problems. So, another function of drama is ability to create jobs. That is, it is a means of creating job opportunities in the society. More so, drama is used to as means of reaching vast audience for the purpose of publicity, propaganda, and protest against bad governments and evils in the society. That's all for Alright, thank you very much, um, Miss Malta. Okay, sino pong next discuss it natin? Ako po, sir. Okay, Ma'am Sheena, ikaw na po. Take it away. So, again, good day everyone. Today, I will going to discuss the elements of drama. But before that, let us first define again what is drama. So, drama is a kind of story composed in dialogue and not to be read but to be watched because it is acted on a stage. And drama is played in theater because before and now even in television and other technology wherein it consists some exciting, emotional, or unexpected series of events or set of circumstances. So, let's proceed to the elements of drama. So, the first one is the Aristotle's elements of drama, and these are plot, theme, characters, dialogue, music or rhythm, and the last one is spectacle. So, Aristotle considered that these six things to be essential to good drama. And Aristotle was a Greek philosopher whose writings still influence us today. He was the first to write about the essential elements of drama more than 2,000 years ago and while ideas have changed slightly over the years. So let's proceed to the first Aristotelian elements and this is the plot. Plot is what happens to the play and plot refers to the action, the basic storyline of the play. So yung plot, it is a continuous sequence from beginning, middle, and ending of the story and it is also the arrangement of events or incident on stage. On the other hand is the theme. Theme refers to the meaning of the play and 
it is the main idea or lesson to learn from the play. This is the reason why the playwright wrote the play and a theme is a recurring idea that present throughout the work. So for example is yung Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare were in love yung pinaka dominant and most important theme in that story but still um, Romeo and Juliet doesn't have a happy ending. So on the other hand is the characters. Characters and are the people and sometimes it could be animals or ideas portrayed by the actors in play. It is the characters who move action or plot of the play forward. So without them, probably there is no drama will happen because they are the one who push the plot forward and they are the one who plays the role. The, role. the next one is dialogue. Dialogue refers to the words written by the playwright and spoken by the characters in the play. The dialogue helps to move the action of the play along. So, ito yung conversation between two or more characters in drama wherein, wherein they exchange idea or thoughts and it helps the characters in order for them to express their feelings and emotions. So, the next one is the music or rhythm. While music is often featured in drama, in this case, Aristotle was referring to the rhythm of the actors' voices as they speak. So, yung purpose po ng music and rhythm is para mas lalong ma-express yung feelings and emotions na characters and then syempre yung ia-apply na um, music and rhythm is accurate doon sa scenario ng mga characters. To the unusual elements of the play, set, costume, special effect, and etc. A spectacle is every and other special effect and um, nag-wear sila ng mga makeup in order ta para maging eye-catchy yun sa mga audience nila during nag-perform sila. So, in modern theater, as you can see, there are some additional elements and this are, and the character, plot and theme, and dialogue remain the same. So, let us define the convention. When we say convention, these are the techniques and method used by the playwright and director to create the desired stylistic effect. And drama convention means the, these are the specific action or techniques that an actor or director has employed to create a design, desired dramatic effect. So, resolution, explores relationship, tension, conflict are some examples of drama convention. The next one is the genre. Genre refers to the type of play and some uh, some examples of different genre include comedy, tragedy, mystery, and historical play. And a genre can help to give performers and a framework to shape the this device work. And the last one is the audience. This is the group of people who watch the play and many playwrights and actors consider the audience to be the most important elements of drama and as all of effort put into writing and producing a play is for the enjoyment of the audience. So, um, kung baga, yun, yung mga playwrights and actors, um, yung audience is yung pinaka-target nila kasi lahat ng effort na ina-exert nila is para ma masatisfied yung ma masatisfied yung mga audience nila. And that would be all po, sir. Alright. Thank you very much, ma'am. Sheena Kilet. Thank you very much, ma'am. Well said po. And to continue this, we have sinusunod? Ako na po, sir. Okay. Um, ma'am Olivares, ako na po. So again po, good day everyone. I am Ellen Rose B. Olivares and I am going to discuss the elements of drama in the modern theater. So, 
under the elemental drama in the modern theater, we have um, three categories, which are the literary elements, technical elements, and the performance elements. Under po sa literary elements, we have the characters, plot, theme, dialogue, convention, genre, and the audience. So let's start po sa characters. Characters, this is, these are the people, sometimes animals or ideas, portrayed by the actors in the play. It is the characters who move the action or plot, and characterization is the way an author presents a character. So, patulad po na ni-discuss ni Ma'am Brenda rin kanina, um, we have the protagonist and um, antagonist in characters po. And then, next po, we have the plot. It refers to the action, the basic storyline of the play. So, simply as the organized patterns po, yung sequence, yung pagkakasunod-sunod po ng mga um, scenes or events that makes up the story. And every series po, or yung um, scenes, must be related to one another. So, um, nakapabilo na din po dito yung um, exposition po. Rising action, the climax, falling action, the, and the um, last one, the resolution. Next po, we have the theme. Theme is refers to the meaning of the play. Theme is the main idea or lesson to be learned from the from the play. In some cases, the theme in a play is obvious. Other times, it is quite subtle. So it is the uh, po, recurring ideas that um, present present throughout the work. So it can be about love, po, it can be about injustice and hope and etc. Next one we have po I dialogue. Dialogue this refers to the words written by the playwright and spoken by the characters in the play. So, ito um, simply as the exchange po of um, spoken words between two or more characters in a drama. Next po, we have the convention. Convention, these are the techniques or methods used by the playwright and director to create the desired stylistic effect. So, example po dito sa conventions are the um, slow motion po, uh, mime, and soliloquy. These techniques are used by the playwright and director so that the audience po ha- can come up uh, or attach the specific meaning of the um, drama. So by using these techniques repeatedly, audience will recognize its significance in the drama po. Next, we have the genre. Genre refers to the type of play or drama. Some examples of different genres include comedy, tragedy, mystery, and historical play. So, I am simply as that one. And then we have the last elements under the literary elements is the audience. Audience, it is the group of people who watch the drama. Many playwrights and actors consider the audience to be the most important element of drama. So, it is the people po kasi, the audience who watch the performance. They are the one who um, appreciate the, the drama. And they are also the people who um, react to the performer, performers by applauding or yeah. laughing and even crying. Importante yung reaction kasi nung audience sa, paglag, sa mga performers sa theater arts. Yun nga lang, most probably, kung kayo nakapanood na ng totoong theater ano yan, ang um, drama, meron pong mga guidelines po pagpasok doon. Kasi, for example, bawal i-turn on ang phones, dapat i-turn off ang mga smartphones natin. Huwag mag-iingay habang nag, nag-deliver ng dialogue yung mga ano yan, um, cast. Okay? Pero, importante yung reaction ng audience kasi sa performer, ibig sabihin nun, na-appreciate nila yung acting mo. Uh, di ba? For example, kung medyo tragic yung yung dating nung ano yan, nung sequence ng drama, yung mga audience naman, parang feeling naman nila ano yan eh, yung nasasaktan din sila, di ba? So, nararamdaman yun ng mga performers. So, there is an interaction, yun nga lang, symbolic lang, no? So, nakikita lang sa mga um, ano yan natin, sa mga performers, pero nagre-reflect yun sa mga audience. That's why, importante palaga yung audience as one of the elements of the modern theater, drama or theater arts. Okay, let's proceed po. 
Apo, sir. And then, also, knowing the audience can help the playwrights po or the directors in making decisions about what information should be included po in a drama play. And then, let's go po to the um, second categories, which is the technical elements. So, under this category, we have po the scenery, costumes, properties, lights, sound, and makeup. Scenery. It is the theatrical equipment such as curtains, flats, backdrops, or platforms used in a dramatic production to communicate the environment. So, um, these are the things po that we can see in a in the stage po in the acting place po of the actor. And then, sample nga po is the curtains, stairs, furniture, walls, and all other items po na makikita po natin sa um, stage. Naka, nakapunta na ba kayo sa isang theater, ano yan? Uh, theater, ano yan? Um, stage. Yung totoong tiyatro, meron sa inyo naka-experience niyan? Oo. Ang nakikita lang kasi normally ng mga tao sa theater is the, um, ano yan, the front side of the stage and then the curtain. Yun ang nakikita natin. Pero lingit sa ating kaalaman, yung stage po, medyo po malawak yan sa likod. Pahaba yan because... Pagbaba po ng mga properties, yung mga sceneries, nagsisipagbabaan na lang yan or pinag-uusog na lang yan ng mga uh, crew doon po sa backstage. Kaya may front stage actually, may backstage pa. So mas mahaba talaga yung stage sa theater. Kasi doon po pumapasok yung mga sine, ano yan, um, scenery properties, yung mga props. Doon po yan nagsisipaglabasan. Eh, syempre, iba-iba naman po yung ating, ano yan, for example, um, scene by scene. So, iba rin po yung background or backdrop sa likod. Kung mak- makapunta kayo sa CCP, maintindihan nyo yan. Kung makapunta kayo sa, ano yan, sa mga uh, sikat na um, theater, ano yan, um, ano tawag pa dito, buildings. Okay, so, mak- ma- baka ma- makita ninyo kung ano yung ibig kong sabihin, di ba? Okay, so, normally kasi sa atin, Nagdadrama lang tayo sa stage. Simpleng stage. ba? Diba? Doon lang sa ano yan, sa gymnasium. ba? Diba? So, yung gymnasium kasi iba po talaga yan sa totoong ano yan, uh, drama theater. Okay? So, yung, nangyari lang kasi is medyo, ang um, tawag ba dyan, um, amphitheater lang yung style natin ngayon. ba? Diba? Pang iba't ibang uri ng ano yan, performances. Pero yung totoong theater talaga, malawak po siya. Okay? Let's proceed ma'am. So, next na po is the costumes. Costumes, it is the clothing and accessories are wor- worn by actors to portray character and period. So, it is what um, the actors wear po when performing. Cons- costume can denote character and historical era. So, it reveals information about the character's um, circumstances within the play, helping to tell their story. So, one example is that some, ap- some actors' costume look like look crisp or, or untidy and by the end of the play and this will help communicate their um, journey it symbolizes their journey and what they have experienced throughout the play book. next we have the properties properties are any article except costume or scenery used as part of a dramatic production any movable object that appears on stage during a perform performance so anything that we can see po in a stage or drama play except, except daw po sa costume and scenery. So, example of these are the hoods, weapons, um, lanterns, lanterns, candles, parasol, and etc. that an actor could or might pick up. Yeah. Properties or we, props. Okay? Next, we have the lights. Light elements means that every placement, intensity, and color, color of lights have to be a to be set as needed to help communicate environment, mood, or feeling. So, it is designed to make the stage performance, katulad pa ng sinabi ng um, pre- previous discussion, to make the stage performance visible to the audience. It is also a big help in communicating the environment, mood, or feeling of the drama. So, example po dito sa lights is the spotlight. I know po, um, alam nyo na po yun. So, by spotlight, spotlighting it, an actor away drama play, the audience will try to focus to that certain actor po. Yan. So, may magiging center of at- um, attention of your actor. Kaya nga, spotlight eh. Ibig sabihin ng spotlight, 
is, is like a beam light na nakatutok lang doon sa main character. Okay? Na, mag, for example, mag-uusap, dialogue dalawa. Yung dalawang spotlight nakatutok sa dalawa. So, yun yung focus para yung tao hindi mawala sa scenery. ba? Diba? Uh, let's proceed, ma'am. Then we have also the sound. The effects an audience hears during performance to communicate character, context, or environment. So the same with um, lights po. It is also um, influences the audience perception of the play. So so it is necessary to create sound effects and musical scores that communicate the story. So um, dito na po yung pumapasok na may narinig tayong parang tadadadan yung mga ganun pong mga sound. And Sinunin ako ang tunog na yun. Ang tala-la-la-la. Parang mga ganun po. Yan. Ah, sige. Sound assist in the creation of tension po. The tension, the mood, and changes on rhythm in a performance. So, um, next po, we have the makeup. Makeup includes costumes, wigs, and body paint used to transform an actor into a character. So, makeup is used to assist in creating the appearance po of the characters that actors portray during a th- um, theater performance. It is a practice of painting, enhancing or altering the face, hair, and body of the actor with cosmetics, plastic materials, and other substances. Okay, next. Um, no, up, the, the last ano po, category of the elements in the modern theater is the performance elements. So under this po, we have the acting, um, character motivation, character analysis, and the empathy. So when we say acting, it is the use of face, body, and voice to portray character. So, yeah. Ito po yung nakikita na natin sa um, sa stage, yung pag po ng mga actors. And by using acting, it is it strengthens the storyline and make a scene more realistic. Acting, the performing art in which movement, gesture, and intonation are used to realize or portray a character. And then, through acting po, of course, the audience will easily understand the story of a drama or the theater play. Next, we have the character motivation. It is the reason or reasons for a character's behavior, an incentive or induce, inducement for further action for a character in a drama. So, it is the what that makes dra- um, drives characters on what they, are, they, what they would like to achieve. So, for, for example po, um, one character may behave in a childish or argumentative way, but their overall motivation is just to be noticed and get atten- attention. So that's the reason po. And then we have the character analysis. It is the process of examining how the elements of drama, the three categories, are used. So it is like for the um, evaluation of characters' traits, role in the story, and the context they experience. So for the last element po, we have the empathy. It is the capacity to relate to the feelings of one another. So the drama theater teaches, teaches us to how to understand other people, how to feel empathy for those unlike us. So empathy allows the actors also to see a character as if it were she or the actor um, faced with different circumstances that char- characterize the character's life. So that's all po. All right. Thank you very much, um, Ma'am Olivares. All right. So, mga ka-eduk, um, medyo manapadami na yung ating discussion, no? Pero ito, minamadali lang namin kasi lunchtime. Ano yan? Pasado na pala alas 12. <laughs> Time check is already 12.42 na pala po sa hapon. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, I think let's have a little short break. Huwag kayong aalis. Marami po tayong matutunan dito po sa ating Bura Bura Livestream along Jack 16, which is Arts Appreciation. Okay? Huwag kayong aalis. We'll be right back.
Alright, so nagbabalik kayong host si Jika Sentai. Maraming salamat po sa ating mga viewers right now. Pasensya na po kung hindi na po ako nakapag-ano yan. Shout out kasi naputol po yung ating <laughs> live streaming kanina due to some technical errors. Okay, medyo nag-overheat lang po siguro yung aking device. <laughs> so dami po na ginagawa multitasking. But anyway, so let's continue po our discussion po regarding po sa ating um, topic ngayong um, araw. Okay? So, I think ready na po ang ating mga discussions for our next onion discussion. Itong mouse ko naglolo ko kanina pa tayo. Baka ito yung culprit, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, kaya I would like to call now ang uh, Ma May Salvation Ibarita. Ma'am, ikaw na po. So, good day again everyone. So, I'll, I will be tackling the different types of drama and their significance. So, for the objectives, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify the different types of drama and understand their significance. So, again, let's define drama. What is drama? Drama is this specific mode of fiction represented in performance, for example, a play, opera, a mime, or and, and etc. The term drama comes from a Greek word meaning action, which is derived from I do. In English, the term play comes from the word meaning game. So the drama is the standard term used to describe drama until, until William Shakespeare's time. Okay. So we have different types of drama. And I will be discussing it one by one. Comedy. I know you're all familiar with this one. So, comedy is the light play in nature. It creates a very funny and happy ambience and makes the audience relax. It is very energetic in nature and always it has a happy ending. So, by watching um, comedy drama or films makes it makes the audience relax and happy. Well, yun naman talaga ang hatid sa atin ng comedy films, di ba? Yun na yung pasayahin tayo. It brings us the, hap the happiness and good vibes. Kaya when you're feeling sad or having a bad day, you can watch this kind of lighting your mood. Okay. So for the significance, comedy trend tends to bring humor and induce laughter in plays, films, and theater. The primary function of comedy is to amuse and entertain the audience, while it is also portrays, portrays also um, social institutions and personal as corrupt and ridicules them to, through, through um, satirizing, parodying, and poking fun at their vices. By doing this, authors expose the foibles and follies of individuals and society by using comic elements. So yun nga po, when we say comedy, it always has a, dun nga po sa meaning, it always has the um, happy ending. Okay, as far as I know, wala naman ako napapanood pa na comedy, and then merong sad ending, di ba? Wala pa naman. But have you already watched some comedy drama? Let me know. Okay? Just comment. So as an example of uh, yun nga po um, ng comedy, we have um, As You Like It by William Shakespeare. So the main idea po ng William Shakespeare by, by this drama of William Shakespeare is um, love. Kaya po ng many other uh, many other love stories, it is um love at first sight. Yung babae po is na love at first sight doon sa lalaki and then usually, um, they live happily ever after. Kasi happy ending ako. So, I have here some scene from As You Like It by William Shakespeare. As you can see naman, sa pictures, um, the ambience of the play is happy and it delivers to us good vibes. Also, I have um, some scene din ng comedy, um, ng comedy drama. As you can see in the first picture, hawak ng babae yung lubid kung saan nakataling lalaki na para bang uh, kabayo or parang ginagawa itong cow, like that. So, um, sa second picture naman, there's a guard where, uh, where in tinatali niya yung dalawang lalaki. Well, the other two men are helping the two guys na nakatali na tumakas. Imagine the commotion and, and the struggle, especially in a guard. Okay? It's funny. Mm -hmm. So, as I'm looking at the pictures, their um, facial expressions make it more hilarious. But look at that. 
Okay, let's move on. Next, we have tragedy. So, it is a serious play in nature. It deals with problem as a team. It creates a strong end mood of unhappy and sad feeling among the audience and has a sad ending. So, this is the opposite of the comedy drama. Kung yung comedy drama is full of bright and happy scenes, sa, ka, sa, ano, sa tragedy, eh, kabalik tara. Tragedy drama delivers the audience in sad vibes. We're making the audience in pain and unhappy. Kung, kung, sa, ano, kung sa comedy naman, eh, happy ending, dito ay sad ending. So, as an example, we have Macbeth by William Shakespeare. So, for the, ano, for the significance, Aristotle was the first to fully define it in his in his um, work Biotics. He wrote that tragedy must involve the reversal of fortunes of um, a powerful person from good to bad due to the hamartia of the protagonist. He also wrote that tragedy must create a sense of fear and pity in the viewer which can lead them to Catharsis, which uh, catharsis was like a, a mess, ganun, sad. So modern, so so more modern drama, dramatists such as um, Arthur Miller have uh, written that tragedy can also be written about the common person. In fact, the viewer may more easily relate to this type of tragedy and thus feel the greater sense of fear and pity. So sabi po ni ano Arthur Miller. Mas na makaka-relate raw po yung mga audience if the story is from the uh, like like for example in real life. Kunwari kagaya ng mga struggles ng mga tao sa buhay nila or maybe like uh, parang ano po siya parang true life story po mga ganun. So some tragedy scene. As you can see naman po uh, in the first picture, someone has died. The second one is um, someone is about to kill. It shows pity, sadness, and fear. Next, modern Greek tragic mask. Those are the modern Greek mask. So next, we have melodrama. The mellow part of melodrama comes from the Greek mellows, um, which also gives us the melody and the melodrama was originally a stage play that had an orchestral accompaniment and was interpersed um, with songs. It is mainly a ano, um, judgmental drama where all, always good wins over the evil. There are some commonly portrayed characters in this play like um, noble hero, suffering, heroine, and an evil villain exist. So everything from dialogue to costume is shown in a larger than life pattern. So as an example po, um Ruin by Ruin is a play by Lynn Natach. So for the significance po, uh, the, the significance of melodrama comes from the music drama which means music was used to increase emotion or signi- signifies character. Melodrama is a genre of drama that exaggerates plot and characters with the intention of appealing to the emotion. When we say exaggerates plot, parang they make it more worse, not worse, like um, parang ano po, uh, parang worse, worse in reality, yung hindi na papanipaniwala parang over emphasizing po ganun. Yung melodrama ladies and gentlemen, dito nagsimula yung tinatawag niyo ngayon the musical. 'Di ba? Alam niyo where the musical? For example, Les yes. Misérables. Les Misérables, okay, is a musical play. Pero mostly commonly ang sinasabi ng mga tao is the musical. Ibig sabihin, parang ano siya eh, parang purely operatic na siya eh. Yun nga lang pag musical kasi ang um, hindi limited po yung galaw ng mga artist Sing, singing talaga po sila pero pag melodrama po talaga is like a form of an opera na okay pero melo melodrama is not as um, 
uh, tawag ba dito, uh, sophisticated like opera. Na talagang purely uh, musical tapos may nagdadrama pa. Okay, dito parang uh, may saglitan lang na parte na magkakanta or let's say may halong tono yung sinasabi or yung dialogue ng isang cast. Okay, let's proceed ma'am. So we have some melodrama scene. Yan po. As you can see, they are they are singing, singing everywhere. So next we have bars. Bars is a play which has only funny elements and no human values. Overall, funny and hilarious in nature. The main objective is to entertain the audience. So the main the main objective is to entertain the audience. Parang gaya po ng comedy pero wala po siyang human value. So for example, the the importance of being earnest by Oscar Wilde. So for the for the significance, the basic purpose of farcical comedy is to evoke laughter. We usually find forces in theater and films and sometimes in other literary works literary works too. In fact, all of these forms combine stereotype um, characters and exaggeration to create humor. Forces also contain imp- improbable coincidences and generally mock um, weaknesses of human and humans and human society. So we have some some first team. So next we have fantasy. Fantasy shows differences between positive and negative powers. Um, it has fairy tale type characteristics. It shows some magic or powers that have no scientific basis yet verified by reputable evidence. It used from mental powers or technologies that are not possibly or not yet discovered. So, um... Ito po yung uri ng drama na puro hindi makatotohanan ang mga pangyayari. Although, hindi, may mga katotohanan naman, pero... What I mean is the characters are magical na parang wala dito sa mundo natin. Pero okay. we never know, di ba? So as an example, um, A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. So for the significance of fantasy, fantasy is a type of drama that portrays characters in a medievalist setting. Which is to say that there are elements often um, associated with medieval legends such as kings, queens, princesses, dragons, knights, unicorns, and so on. Pwede din fairies, ganyan. This kind of drama serves to fuel our adventure and satisfy directly related re- relates to our deepest desires and dreams. This is why they are important for increasing power of imagination and growing minds. So we have uh, some scene for um of A Midsummer Night's Dream. As you can see naman it's so magical. So for the last type of drama we have opera. Opera is an intended dramatic composition in which all parts are sung to instrumental accompaniment. It includes arias, choruses, and recitatives, um, and that sometimes include bal- ballet. The form of the form or branch of uh, musical and dramatic art presented by such compositions. So, dito po yung sinabi ni Sir kanina na nabanggit ni Sir kanina na uh, puros uh, the line were being sang by the artists. Oo, dito, kabalik tara ng melodrama. Sa melodrama, pasingit-singit yung tono. Sa opera naman, pasingit-singit lang yung salita. <laughs> okay, ba na-gets ninyo? Uh, na- maintindihan kasi ninyo yung pag nakapanood tala kayo ng totoong drama. Kasi yung yung nakikita nyo sa sa video, uh, yes, it's entertaining, pero iba po ang totoong live. Okay? Kung for example, nakakanood kayo ng tinatawag nating soap opera ngayon, 
mga teleserye ganyan. May mga microphones kasi yan eh, kaya hindi masyadong nakakapaglakas ng boses. Pero ma- malalaman ninyo kung ang isang artist ay galing teatro. Kasi pag sila po nagsalita, nag- nag-acting, parang minsan talaga eh, ano, damang-dama mo yung ano yan, yung very expressive yung kanilang ano yan, um, pag-acting. Ganun yung kaibahan ng mga um, artist na purely lang sa teleserye or soap opera. Pero pag talagang theater artist, malalakas talagang boses niyan. Talagang makikita mo. Pati, basta, lahat, buong katawan, napakagaling talaga nilang mag um, deliver ng speech, yung expression ng mukha, superb. Okay? So, I suggest sa ating mga ka Pag nakabalik na po tayo sa new normal, hopefully mag- magkaroon tayo ng educational tour. Mapunta man lang kayo sa CCP, makapanood kayo ng mga um, ano yan, live ano, um, performances sa theatrical ano yan, arts. Mas maiin ka, mas ma ang tawag ba dito? Mas lalo ninyong maiintindihan yung ibig sabihin nitong mga types na dinidiscuss natin ngayong ang um, hapon, right? So, let's proceed, ma'am. So, for the significance of opera, it conveys convincing messages, which is important for everyone that is curious about opera terrain. For, so, we have some opera scene. So, as you can see, there are powerful um, singing. They have powerful voices. They are singing. So, that's all po. Thank you. Alright, ay ang taray. <laughs> ito, ito, ito yung pambungad natin, oh. Ito yung epilogue, di ba? <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Ma'am Ibarait. Okay, let's proceed na po sa next discussion. Okay, we have Ma'am Mona Lisa Buban. Tama ba ako? Nandito pa si Ma'am? Ah, sino sino lang susunod na discussion natin? Ako na po, sir. Okay, si Ma'am Lisa may komenta, Ma'am. Ikaw nice. na po. Okay. Yes po. So, um, our topic for today po is um, um, theater and film. So, ano po ba um, theater? So, ang, ito ay nababaybay sa theater with ER and theater na RE. So, pareho ba sila? So, yes po. Pareho lang po sila. Yung theater with ER ay ginagamit sa US which define physical structure na kung saan nangyari ang isang pagtatanghal. At ang theater with RE naman ay ginagamit sa UK which is tumutukoy ito sa art form o sa mismong pagtatanghal. So, theater it is a collaborative form of fine art that uses live performers to present the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place. So, ang teatro ay isang collaborative process kung saan lahat ng tauhan ay nagtutulong-tulong kung papaano mapaganda o, at, o mapapaganda ang isang palabas. So, it is one of the major art form that brings together all the other art forms from painting and sculpture to installation art, to music, to dance, to literature, even to computer arts in a single production. So, hindi magiging makabuluhan ang isang palabas kung walang aktor at mananood. So, sila ang mahalagang bahagi ng theater. So, the performers may communicate this experience to the audience through combinations of gesture, speech, song, music, and dance. So, the specific place of the performance is also named by the word theater as derived from the ancient Greek theatron, which means a place for viewing. So, it was said that the first plays were performed in the theater of Dionysus, built in the shadow of the Acropolis in Athens at the beginning of the 5th century. So, ano po ba yung uh, theater of Dionysus? So, Theater of Dionysus is, is the theater of uh, an ancient Greek theater in Athens. So, it is built on the south slope of the Acropolis Hills, originally part of the sanctuary of Dionysus um, Eleutherus. So, this is open-air theater was built much like today's large football or baseball stadium. So, since each place... Uh, each play was performed only once. So, 
the theater had to be large enough to hold thousands of people. So historians believe that as many as 14,000 to 17,000 people might have attended each production. So based on the picture, Theater of Dionysus was built into a hillside. So and the performance took place on the ground level, a circular pro- floor called the orchestra. And the audience extended all the ways to the top of the hill. So imagine kung gaano kalawak po yung Theater of Dionysus. So, so so since there were no electricity for lighting, sound, or special effects, the place began early in the morning and lasted until the sun began to see. So um, there are certain elements common to all theaters. So these elements are present whenever a theater event takes place. So without them, an event ceases to be theater and becomes a different art form and different experience. So according to that book, Theater, the Lively Art. So to sum up, these are the following major elements of theater. Um, first, performers. Second, audience. The third, director. Um, theater space with um, design aspects which include scenery, costume, lighting, and sound. So, last text which includes focus, um, purpose, point of view, dramatic structure, and dramatic um, characters. So, um, if when the actor or actress is on stage, they must be believable as the character. So, they are portraying they are portray, portraying. So, if they are not um, believable, then the audience will be less interested in the production. So, bilang performer, dapat usayan mo ang pag-arte o yung performance para naman yung mga manonood ay hindi mabagot o mawala ng gana sa kanilang panonood. So, dapat um, kapanipaniwala ang pagganap ng isang um, character once na nasa stage ka na. So, next is audience. So, the essence of theater in the interaction between the performer and the audience. So, theater needs to be experienced live. So, there is a call and response. So, atmos- that, um, atmosphere that cannot be witnessed in a movie theater. So, in a live theater experience, when the audience laugh out loud or cries, then the actors respond to that energy. So in a movie, there is no connection between the actors and audience, only reactions from the audience. So next is um director. So um director, um the director makes certain that the performers understand the text and deliver the script Um, excitingly and appropriately. So the director also makes make sure the blocking, costume designs, and set designs and other aspects of the show blend together to make a production that works together. All the aspects of theater should complement each other and the director oversees all the things. So, yung director, sila yung nag-guide sa mga performers kung paano i-deliver at maintindihan yung script or text. So, at syempre, sila rin ang nag-direct ng mga blocking, costumes, design, set designs, and other. So, in other words, sila yung mga nag, uh, nag-organize kung paano mas magiging presentable o makatotohanan ang kanilang gagawin Um, palabas. So, next is theater space. So, theater space um, another necessary element of theater in the space in which performers or audiences come together. So, it is essential to have a, st- a stage or some equivalent area. So, where actors and actresses can perform. So, it is also essential to have a place for audience members to sit or stand. Next is um, design aspects. So, sa design aspects, meron siyang um, visual aspects which is um, 
um, includes the costumes, lighting, and some form of uh, scenic background. Sa non-visual aspects, um, yung sound. Next, uh, the last is um, text. Um, it is a final element essential to theater um, that is performed and it must be present for theater to occur. So another name for the text is script. So one key element for writing is conflict. Um, the characters should have a goal to reach, but to reach um, that goal, they must go through a series of conflicts. So without conflicts, the story would be bland and boring. So tumuo naman tayo po sa film. So film. Film is another art form. Uh, it is another art form which has risen to tremendous heights within the last century is film or cinema. So as its early name motion pictures declared, film brought yet another dimension into play, so that of moving images. So the possibilities of this medium created a new art form that was to become a power, powerful social and economic force and the legacy of the 20th century to the world. So the type, the history of film. So the history of film began in the 1880s when the first movies camera was invented. So most of the films up to 1930 were silent. So um, the first real film was Round Day Garden scene and it was made by Louis Lee Le- Prince on October 14, 1888 in England. So Louis and August, August Lemire perfected the cinematography on apparatus that took uh, printed and projected film. So they gave their first showing of the projected um, projected pictures to an audience in Paris in 1895. Um, so the first public motion picture film presentation in the world belonged to Max and in Emil Sla um, Skladanowski of Berlin who projected with their apparatus bioscope. A flick flicker free flicker free duplex construction. So November and November thing November one through thirty one 1895. So, um, in most countries, enter titles came to be used in to provide dialogue and narration for the film. But in Japanese in cinema, human narration remained to be resolved by 1923. So, by 1898, George Melis was the largest producer of fiction films in France, and from this point. Onwards, his output was almost entirely films featuring trick effects, which were very successful in all markets. So the special popularity of his longer films, which um, were several minutes long from 1899 onwards, Trip to the Moon was one of um, of George Melly's one famous films oh, in 1899 which the production of the short film matches um, an appeal a 30 second long stop motion animated piece intended um, to encourage the audience to send matches to British um, troops fighting the Boer War. So the best known of these filmmakers was Edwin S. Porter who started making films for Edison uh, for the Edison Company in 1901. So when he began making longer films in 1902, so he put a dissolve um, between every shot. So just as George Mellis was already doing, and he frequently had the same action repeated across the dissolves. So 1906, so the pro- so the production of Australian film called The Story of the Kelly Kang. 
the the for- still run for more than an hour and was the longest narrative film yet seen in Australia and the wood- world. So, the first color film was produced in 1902 by Edward Raymond Turner and it was developed by George Albert um, Smith. So, there are the, uh, these are the for- forms and times of film. So, first, um, actions. So, this type of movie generally involves a lot of actions, scenes including violence like fighting or shoot shootouts with uh, weapons, car chases, and often lots of explosions. So, some subgenres um, considered action movies include disaster films, martial arts films, spy films, and superhero films. So, example of action movie, John Wick, Fast and Furious, and The Avengers. Next is um, adventure. This is a journey that um, often takes place in exotic locations and can involve exploration or a quest. So while there is often action in this type of movie, movie it is not the main emphasis. The example of adventure movies um, Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Tomb Raider. So animated. So instead of real actors on the screen, um, drone images, especially nowadays computer-generated ones, are used to tell the story. So real actors are used to uh, used for the voices of the animated characters. So example of animated movies: Toy Story, Shrek, Coco, and Frozen. So comedy. So the main idea of comedies is to make the audience laugh. So the main characters are involved in funny situations. Example of comedy movies: um, Monty Python, um, The Hangover, What Men Want, and drama. So these films are serious and focus on the emotions of realistic characters and the conflicts they have. So examples of drama movies. The Godfather, Marriage Story, The Sound of Metal. So, fantasy. So, situations, places, and or events that don't um, comply with natural laws or settings, um, they often involve some form of magic or supernatural elements. So, there are sometimes magical creatures or beings too. So, examples of fantasy movies are Harry Potter, Highlander, Lord of the Rings. So, next is historical. So, these films can be based on real events in the past or something. Just um, the time period is used as the setting and all events are fictitious. So, in both cases, um, the narrative takes place inside and accurate fiction of a historical um, setting. So sometimes these are biographical movies, also known as biopics. So examples of historical movies, Braveheart, Amadeus, uh, Amadeus and Dan Kirk. Okay. Horror. <laughs> Hor- horror. So the objective of horror movie is to scare the viewer and if possible, make them uh, make them scream. So often done with a jump or a jump scare. So horror movies often uh, feature a monster, some type of evil entity or a um, terrible frightening situation. So example of horror, horror movies book, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Exorcist, uh, and Annabelle. Musical. So, these are movies where songs are sung by the characters. Ang ganda ng um, background, background sound dyan. <laughs> ano yung tunog na yun? <laughs> Parang horror. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Sige, diretso, ma'am. Sorry po, sir. So, musical. So, this are 
movies were sung as, as sung by the characters as a part of the narrative and usually help advance the plot or develop the film's character. So sometimes there are dance routines to accompany the song. So example of musical films the La La Land with Mamma Mia and Romance. So romance films are love stories that focus on the romantic involvement of uh, involvement of the main characters and the de- development of, of their relationship. So a romantic movie that is also funny is called a rom com. So romantic comedy. So ex- examples of the romance movies. Uh, an office house. So, science fiction author also known as uh, sci-fi. These are um, fictional stories based on science. So, they can be about the future or the other world and uh, uh, other worlds and often include um, spaceships, extraterrestrial beings or aliens and advanced technology. So, we don't um, currently have uh, technology we don't currently have. So, examples of science fiction movies are suspense in the ocean. So, a common theme in the thrillers involves um, in- innocent people dealing with a uh, um, deranged adversary. So, examples of thrillers, The Silence of the Lambs, The Sixth Sense, The Da Vinci Code, Shutter Island. So Western. So these are the fictional events based on the American West. So also known as the Wild West. During the 19th century, so they feature cowboys, horse riding, and gunfight. So commonly, these types of films are just called westerns. So examples of westerns: The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And for given the magnetic scent seven. So marami pa pong types ah uh, form ah uh, iba ibang um types of uh, films. So, yan lang po yung nasama ko. Yung, right. Thank you. Okay, maraming salamat, Pam. Okay, so din discuss na po ni Ma'am yung iba't ibang uri ng um, ano yan? Um, films. Okay, so normally lahat yan siguro napanood nyo na. Iba't ibang klase na yan. Kayo pa? So, si Mario Josep, ang gagaling ninyo mag-download ng pelikula. Kaya, ang tanong ko naman ganito. Pag ba kayo nanonood ng K-drama, anong type ba ang gusto ninyong K-drama? Ayan, so mag-open na kayo ng camp kasi tanungan na to. Oo. Sa mga ano yan, discussions natin, ano ba ang favorite ninyong genre ng K-drama? Kasi ako nanonood din ako eh. Pero mostly, ang gusto ko, historical. Rom-com, sir. Rom-com, sir. And action, eh. sir. And Sabi. mystery, sir. Ayan. Action, thrill. Ayan. Mystery. So, uh, ito, tanongin so, natin ang... Mamata. <laughs> tanongin natin yung mga ano yan, yung mga discussions natin. Okay. So, Bakit sa tingin ninyo, ang lakas maka-attract ng K-drama films or movies or even series kahit dito sa Pilipinas? What do you think is yung nandyan sa um, K-drama industry na na-attract tayong manood? Although hindi nga natin maintindihan, basta may subtitle, carry on, di ba? Kaya natin yung ting... <laughs> Sko Mario Josep, 16 episode, my God. One day lang yan. <laughs> Alam ko na yun, eh. Oh, si, si Mrs. kasi ang galing mag drama eh. Isang buong araw. Ako nakakaisa pa lang ako. Pero paano mo ginawa yun? <laughs> Sige, tanongin natin yung mga discussions natin. Ano yung meron sa kanila? Bakit ma- na-attract tayong panoorin natin yan? Sige, anyone from the, uh, yan, from the discussions? Okay. Sige po. I think, sir, the, ano po, the actors and the actresses. Magaling talaga mag-acting? Sir, sir yung chemistry, sir, ng bawat love team, sir. No, sa pa actors and actresses chemistry ano pa? Tapos hindi po na pipedik yung ending ni Russell. Ayo, ano yung, yung plot, di ba? Para at palagi may twist. Hindi na. Yes, Ayun sir. Yun? sir. Oh, tama, tama nga naman. Ano pa? What ano yung pa? Thing, sir is yung ano po yung yung alin? Ano pa yung? Yung may kasing season nga yun, sir, yung may patayan. Ang hilig mo sa patay. <laughs> Isimum na ko, war freak. Okay, so of course, thriller. Thriller and action. Yun yung hinahanap na ninyo. Okay, so most especially talaga, yung talagang pinaka-favorite yung genre is yung... 
Yung sinabi nyo kanina? Rom-com, sir. Yan. Rom-com talaga. Okay. Diyan, diyan kasi talaga normally na buhay yung, yung teleserye fanatics. <laughs> yung mga teleserye fanatics dito sa Pilipinas. Diyan talaga yung una natin nakita. Diba? So, most especially, yung sinabi ninyong mga ang um, tawag ba dito, features na almost wala sa ibang ano yan, nakuha nung kay, kay drama industry. Kaya, na-attract talaga tayong manood ng kanilang mga gawa. Alright? So, ladies and gentlemen, meron pa po bang discussant? Okay? Yes, Normally. sir. Ako pa po. Okay. So, yan. Si Ma'am Olivares salit Ma'am, ano po yung sayo? Different stages of theater, sir. Okay. Sige, ma'am. Ikaw na po. So, Good day everyone, I am Althea Frisia Olivares, your discussant about the different stages of theater. Next, so theater was already defined by Miss Lysa, so we just defined the stage. Stage, the part of theater on which the acting takes place. Next, so stages of theater has 10 types wherein there are four main types of stages which are the found stages, proscenium stages, trust stages, and arena stages. There are six other similar yet distinct stages that includes end stages, theaters in the round, flexible theaters, platform stages, hippodromes, and open-air theaters. So next. So the first stage is the found stage is one of the simplest stages available, also referred to as a profile theater. These are non-theatrical areas that are converted into theater spaces. The beauty of found stages is that one can effectively create a theater in any context. These stages typically place audiences on risers facing the stage. They do not require staging such as props, lighting, or other theatrical elements. So this stage, you will never expect that it may have a show kasi po kahit saan pwede siya gawin. Basta may sapat siyang space for the performance. So example of this is the street, park, and backyard. So the second one, is the proscenium stage. Have an architectural frame known as the proscenium arc, although not always arc in shape. Their, their stages are deep and sometimes straight, meaning the stage is gently sloped, rising away from the audience. It features audience on one side of the stage. Sometimes the front of the stage extends pass the proscenium into the into the auditorium. This is known as an apron or four stage. Theaters often include an orchestra pit for live music and a fly tower for the movement of scenery and lighting. So this stage po gives you the feeling na nanonood ka lang sa malaking screen kasi po meron siyang frame sa gilid. And yung audience po is nasa one side lang ng stage. Hmm. And, yung ap- and yung apron or four stage, ito po yung nagbibigay sa audience na personal experience sa mga actors. Hmm. Depende so, yan sa bayad nyo, sa admission. <laughs> sa example, po, example po nito is the theater in the auditorium building in Chicago. Chicago, okay. The third one trust is the stage. trust stage. It features audience members on three sides of the stage. The trust stage area itself is not always square but may be semicircular or half a polygon with any number of sides. Such stages are often used to increase intimacy between actors and the audience. The size of the trust stage could encompass the enter stage or essentially a large extension of the four stage or apron. So this stage naman po has three sides for the audience. It more often a semicircular shape and it is used for closer interaction between actors and audience po. Meron din po itong four stage or apron, a- apron na mas pinalawak for the main acting area. 
So, example po nito is the Globe Theatre in London, England. So, next, the fourth one is the Arena Stage. Arena Theatre are large-scale auditoria and have a central stage area with audiences on all four sides. The stage area is usually rectangular with tiered seating. It used with no background is required and when the audience needs to engage with the performance from all sides. So this stage naman po have a central area wherein po it have all four sides for the audience. It's a rectangular shape with set of seating tiered tiered or layers na mas magkakaroon ng engagement yung mga audience sa performance. Ito yung mga pagmadamihan. Uh, kaya nga tinawag okay. nating arena. We have one of the largest arenas in Southeast Asia. We have the Philippine Arena. ba? Diba? So, yun. Okay. Napakalaki nun. Talagang pangmaramihan talaga. Yan. Kung mag-concert Sorry? dito ang BTS, pwede doon. O baka nga, baka kumulang pa yung ano yan. <laughs> yung upuan, ba? Diba? Sa daming army dito. Okay, sige, let's proceed po. So, ito po yung example na yung sports arena and football stadium. So, the fifth one is the end stage. Has the audience only on one side of the stage. The audience is faced in a single direction and is usually rectangular or square in shape. Do not need to be limited to a square or rectangular design. These stages could be round, triangular, or another irregular shape. One benefit to an end stage theater is that the entire audience is solely focused on the events on stage. It's referred to as a corner stage theater. So, this stage has only one stage na mas naging advantage sa audience kasi mas nakafocus sila sa performers. And also known as corner stage theater kasi nakaposition ito sa corner or angle na isang place. So, example of this is the music hall. So, the sixth one is the theaters in the round. These have a central performance area enclosed by the audience on all sides. The arrangement is rarely round. More usually, the seating is in a square or polygonal formation. The actors enter through aisles or vomitories between the seating. Scenery is minimal and carefully positioned to ensure it does not obstruct the audience view. Theaters in the round cater to a much smaller audience. This type of stage setup is great for immersive productions in which the performers interact with the audience. So, this stage naman po is the same as arena stage kasi meron din siyang four sides. Eh, and difference lang is yung arena is rectangular, rectangular, tapos parang mas maliit po yung size niya ay yung pwede yung audience. Well, this is, um, and yung space between the seating of the audience is the entrance of the actors. The place is a minimal view lang siya na hindi maapektuhan yung audience in viewing the performance and the uh, actors interaction sa audience. So example of this is the Royal Exchange Theater in Manchester, the Orange Tree Theater in Richmond, and the Octagon Theater Bolton. So the seventh one is the Flexible Theaters, also known as a studio theater or a black box theater. The flexible theater is designed to accommodate a wide range of needs. These stages that cater to a minimalist style of performance, the flexible theater is ideal for spaces that don't uh, normally put on events or those that desire a budget-friendly temporary stage setup. So this stage is known as studio theater or black box theater. And so word na flexible pa lang is para na to sa temporary needs or tas ideal po ito kasi simple set up stage lang and mura pa kung magre-rent in just a short of time. Yeah. So example po nito is sa street. So next po is platform stage. 
This usually consists of a raised rectangular platform at one end of a room. They can either have a level or raised sloping floor. The audience sit in rows facing the stage, where the stage is open and without curtains. They are sometimes known as open stages. So this stage is rectangular platform that are often used in halls, where theater is only one of the spaces uses. The audience are seated facing the stage. It has no background style. That's why it's sometimes known as open stage. So example for it is multi-purpose hall. Yeah. Nine. So number nine po. Hippodromes are similar to circuses and have a central circular arena surrounded by concentric tiered seating. Pits or low screen often separate the audience from the arena. Also, the hippodrome dates back to ancient Greece and was an outdoor arena used for chariot races and horse races. Hippodrome theaters were quite unique in their construction. They were typically dug into the side of a hill. So this stage is tinutulad sa circuses kasi meron itong central circular arena na napapalibutan ng layer city. And yung actors and audiences were separated by the deep pits na nasa harap ng stage. And noong times of ancient Greece, this stage was placed outdoor for races that dug in the side of the hill. Example, theater in Baltimore, Maryland. Maryland. Okay. So the last one is the open air theater. Open air theater can come in many shapes and sizes, but must be located outdoors. These are outdoor theater that do not have a roof, although sometimes parts of the stage or audience seating will be covered. This stage may make use of the natural light as it changes during the day, particularly sunset. These theaters also commonly known as amphitheaters. So this kind of stage can be in different shapes and sizes that is located outdoors. These were called a open air theater because wala siyang roof. It may be a bit part of the actors or audience seating. It also used a natural light during the performance and it also known as amphitheaters because of a oval or circular building with rising tiers of seat in an open space. So example of this is the Regent's Park Open Air Theater in London, England. That's what we all say. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Ma'am Olivar. Siya. Ito yung amphitheater. Alam nyo, ladies and gentlemen, pwede lang to sa mga lugar na weather predictable or predictable ang weather. Diba? Kung alam ninyo na hindi uulan mamaya, ayan, pwede kayo dito. Pero sa Pilipinas, I don't think so kasi <laughs> ang predictable ang weather natin dito, ba? Diba? Mostly ang amphitheaters right now, ang, as, as uh, ano yan, uh, producer, ang um, normally, mas gusto namin mag-perform gabi. Because um, mas well, ang um, controlled na po yung humidity, yung temperature, para po maganda po yung production namin ng sound, ng audio. And at the same time po, kung amphitheater po yan, or open air theater, mayroon chances po na may biglang umulan, mayroon po yung mga nakaakibat na mga ano yan, pang cover po sa mga gamit for ano yan, um, for this ano yan, um, unprecedented ano yan, um, occasions or um, tawag ba dito, um, climate. Kasi di natin alam kung biglang uulan o hindi. Most typically, uh, ginagamit yung mga ano yan, ang um, uh, tawag ba dyan? Yung mga fiberglass. Yan, para ano yan. Kahit pa paano, open pa rin ang dating. Open space pa rin ang dating. Pero, hindi po maapektuhan yung mga viewers and at the same time yung ating mga performers. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, dito na po nagtatapos. Tama ang ating usapan ngayong hapon regarding po sa ating ang um, drama, okay? Theater arts and film. So, maraming salamat po sa ating mga discussant ngayong hapon. Thank you very much po sa wakas na tapos tayo. <laughs> Kahit pa po yes, putol po. Yan, oh. Kukulawa na yung kabinina mo. <laughs> Ang upset. Uli na kung ikaw, ayan. So, nasa na ba ating mga discussant? I hope na dyan pa sila. 
Okay, so mag-word of text na po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa ating mga viewers. Okay, uh, we are very sorry po for the inconvenience kasi bigla pong nawawala ang ating ano yan, uh, internet connection. But anyway po, ginawa pa rin namin ang lahat para po matapos kami dito po sa aming live streaming. Shoutout kay Pam Isabel and Kiniki Aguirre. Maraming salamat po for ano yan, watching with us. Okay, until matapos natin ang ating pag-uusap or discourse regarding po sa drama ngayong hapon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call on our ating ano yan, discussion for word of thanks. Okay, maraming salamat po, mga viewers, and Ma'am Clavo Renaline. Ma'am, bati ka yes, po, po okay. word of thanks. Uh, hi everyone, maraming salamat sa pakikinig at patuloy na panonood sa amin kahit na medyo magkaroon po tayo ng internet na pagkakasira na internet, I mean, technical error, at least sinaportahan niyo po pa rin kami at tinapos niyo po yung discussion po namin. Appreciated po namin yun, sobrang sobra, maraming salamat po. Alright, maraming salamat kay Ma'am Rina, nasa open theater po siya. <laughs> Okay, yes, so, okay. Um, Ma'am Olabares Ma'am, word of thanks po mm, Ka-off na yung mga I-open nyo lang yung mga ano yan Camera Ma'am Ellie Word of Ay, thanks po mas- So thank you po for all the viewers po I hope um, may nakop pa yung mga information po Okay, talagang napakarami namin nakuha Ako marami natutunan Maraming salamat po Okay, Ma'am Ellie and Ma'am Liza Kometa Word of thanks po ma'am So, ayan po. Thank you po sa pakikinig at sana po may matutunan po kayo sa um, discussion namin po. Salamat po. Alright. Thank you very much, Ma'am Liza. And Ma'am Aldea. Ma'am, word of thanks po. Thank you po sa lahat na nakinig. God bless po. Okay. Maraming salamat, Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am Bernadette Malta, word of thanks po, Ma'am. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat and lalo sa nakikin, ay sa nakinig and sa isa you po, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, Ma'am Badet. And of course, kay Ma'am Tupaw, Ma'am Aramil. Ma'am, change ater na ang ate nyo. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, sige. Word of thanks po. Uh, sige na, text-text na lang. <laughs> Nakaw fight mo, huy. <laughs> and, maski kung ano gano'y, patapos na, pasang mo yung paligay niya ka. <laughs> oh, okay. Word of thanks, Ma'am. Open your mic. Thank you so much po sa lahat ng nakinig. Alright. Ganang mood to na si Mama. <laughs> Sige na una ganun. Alright. Thank you very much, Ma'am Aramil. Shana all naka-lunch na. Okay? And we have also here, Ma'am May Salvacion Ibarreta. Ma'am, bati po. Um, word of thanks. So, thank you for staying until the end of the discussion. Sana may abutunan kayo. Thank you for watching. Right, thank you very much, Ma'am Ibarata. And last but not least, Ma'am Shinamay Kilet. Ma'am, word of thanks po. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope all of you gained some knowledge for what we discussed. That's all po. Alright, thank you very much, mga discussants. Maraming salamat po for sharing your time, your passion, your industry po para matapos natin itong live streaming session natin po regarding sa drama. Okay, medyo napahaba pero well substantial po ang ating natutunan regarding po sa film, theater, and drama. Thank you very much sa ating mga discussant. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Okay, pwede na tayong mag-lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, AJ Casante. Nag-iwan ng kataga in this time of pandemic para matuto ng malapit. The Adet Bad Mapaknet. Maraming salamat po. Good afternoon. Congratulations, discussant. Maraming salamat po. Good day. Happy lunch ta. Happy lunch time, sir. Maraming salamat po. Keep safe.